Imagine logging into your LinkedIn only to find out your account has been restricted. You're now wondering what happened, why now, and most importantly, how can you fix this? But before that, I'm Yasmina from Magic Post, and this video, we're diving into the real reasons why LinkedIn might restrict your account, how to fix it, and what can you do to make sure it doesn't happen again. So the first thing, why does LinkedIn restrict accounts? LinkedIn is all about keeping the platform professional, clean, and valuable for all users. So to do that, they monitor user activity very closely. If something seems off suspicious, they won't hesitate to act and restrict an account. And the most common reasons why your account might get flagged or restricted are first, excessive connection requests. If you send in too many requests in a short period, especially to people who you don't know personally, LinkedIn might see this as a spam. Number two is low acceptance rates. If very few people are accepting your connection invite, it's a red flag. It says LinkedIn that your outreach might be not genuine or relevant. Number three is profile viewing limits. Scrolling through tons of profile quickly, this can look like a bot behavior or scrapping. And number four, automation tools. Using third-party tools to send messages or connect automatically, LinkedIn does not like that. And number four is content violation. If you post something that is offensive, misleading, or violate the community guideline, you could be restricted instantly. So how can you regain access to your account? The first thing is start by reading your LinkedIn notification carefully. They usually tell you why the restriction happened. It might feel vague at the beginning, but if you look closely, it gives you clues about why and what triggered it. Number two is file an appeal. If you think it's a mistake or you have made changes they recommend, you can then follow their steps to appeal. This might mean verifying your identity or submitting more information. And number three is stop using automation tools immediately. LinkedIn's algorithm is very sensitive to anything that automates human behavior. And number four is be patient. Once you've submitted your appeal, it can take days or at least 24 hours. So don't create another account or try to bypass the system. It's only gonna make things worse. Now let's check how can you prevent future restrictions. Here are some of the best practices that will keep your account clean and compliant. First thing is don't go crazy with connection requests. Stick to the reasonable number per day, especially if you're just starting to grow your network. Number two is make your messages personal. Don't just send a blank invite or copy and paste it. If you add a note, you're making it human and you'd be surprised how much this improves your acceptance rate. And number three is avoid shady tools. If something feels like it's growing hack, or hacking the system, LinkedIn is probably ready onto it. Having your LinkedIn account restricted can feel like an admit, especially if you're using the platform to build a brand, find clients, or grow your business. But the good news is that it's usually fixable. If you understand how LinkedIn works, play by the rules, and treat the platform with the same professionalism you'd expect from others, you will be setting up the win for the long term. I hope this video was helpful and if you have any questions about LinkedIn restrictions, please leave me a comment below. And if you've been restricted before or you want to share your experiences, drop a comment, I'd love to hear from you. See you on the next one.